welcome to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here and you are joining me in my brand new home, in my brand new bedroom. I cannot believe it. You guys have known me since what? How long, how long we had this relationship for? Mm, probably longer than any relationship I've had with any man. <laughs> so that's that. You guys have seen me in my old home where we introduced Cooking with Chrissy. You guys have seen me in the apartment that I got in London. And now you are seeing me in a new home that we've got in London. And the reason for the move, just a little update, I just didn't feel settled. I felt like, listen, I'm not the kind of person that is like, woo, I think all these crazy things. And if you are, that's totally fine. I do believe that the universe always gives you messages and I believe in gut intuition. And my gut was just telling me this, you need to get out of this place. So many things happened. My health issues happened there. So many family drama and so many family problems. Even my relationship was quite rocky at the time, but I didn't open up to because, you know, certain things keep personal. You don't need to share everything with everyone at all time. But I just felt like everything was uneasy loads of things were happening behind the scenes and that's why I didn't want to vlog too many things were happening and I was just like we need to move we need to get out of here I don't feel like this is good for my energy I don't feel like this is good for my soul get me out of here so we decided to move once the lease was up we moved and now we've moved into the stunning new home which has so much more of a purer energy and it kind of reminds me of the first home that I ever bought where we introduced cooking with Chrissy and you guys saw me literally grow up there which by the way thank you for sticking around because I know at times I can be hella annoying but here you are and you ain't going anywhere so I decided to vlog today I'm going to take you through my entire Sunday morning but also my workout routine I have just come back from five weeks of traveling please never let my crazy ass do that again I don't know what is wrong with me I was like I can take on the world honey, you can't. Settle yourself down, stay at home and stick to your routines. So it completely threw me off. My routine is off. My food was off. I hadn't cooked a homemade meal in over six weeks. I hadn't been training, but I'm back now and I'm happy for the experiences. I got to work in a refugee camp. I got to work tightly with my team. It was absolutely magical. But now I'm back home, ready to restart. So we have an Evolve You workout from my lower body strong. I've switched my programs now. We are on upper body B today. So we're I'm gonna take you through that. The whole workout will be in the description. Before that, we're gonna get ready. And this bad boy, why did no one tell me about this sooner? Please, I'm gonna tell you this. Your big sis is gonna put you on this. Normally I used to have a makeup section and I would take my makeup and I would move it around. And I just thought, drama. So what I did was I hopped on Amazon. I'll pop the link there. And I got this big bad boy. <laughs> Okay, she's not broken. All good. Woo! That was a. Uh, you right, buttons? I'm okay. Come here. Come here, Bobby. Oh, oh. oh, she thought something happened. Bless her. It's okay. It's okay, baby love. Oh, guys, you're gonna die. Look up. It's okay. Come here. It's okay, baby love. Nothing happened. <laughs> anyway, back to vlogging. What are you doing? You love this new place. By the way, this. Oh my god, this. Mm. Oh, bitch, not today. This new house has a garden and she is a loving life, aren't you, bub? Only thing is, you see all the foxes and all the cats and you want to wake me up at 5 a.m. in the morning because you want to go chase them. But honey, we had a deal. We had a deal. Let mommy sleep on the weekends. Thank you. Goodbye. So anyway, I got this box from Amazon. I'll insert the link. It's absolutely amazing. And I just thought I always chase the light when I'm doing my makeup. Like I'm not going to do it in one area. So get yourself one of those. It's so much more convenient and you can compact all your makeup and take it with you wherever you go. Now, what we're talking about skin. skin my skin lately, mm, she's been better, but she's also been worse so i'm thankful for what i'm given because i've had moments of drama with this skin so this is my base my eyebrows have been micro bladed by my friend nez she does such a good job so really my eyebrows just need kind of like a little spruce and a little filling but nonetheless they're quite good so i'm going to do an updated makeup to routine because you guys have been asking me for once so i'm going to do a really quick everyday makeup routine that lasts all day long i don't need to think about it when i'm in the 
office. So that's what we're gonna do. I've put SPF 50 on my face. I always put SPF 50 on my face and my neck. So that's kind of my base. Then what I do is for foundation, I've started using this new Kosa foundation. I use the shade 220 medium neutral. And what I do is I actually pump two pumps on my hand and I mix it in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless foundation because I like that little bit of glow not too much because I'm oily so you know these glowy trends amazing good for you but not when you have oily skin and you literally look not like a glazed donut but you look like literally an oil tank you look like an oil tank all day long that's exhausting so what i do is i grab this big fluffy brush it cosmetic yes it's from it cosmetics the heavenly Lux, and this new trick i wish i knew this sooner because it actually creates such a pretty base i just whack this everywhere like just so light and feathery and i don't really i'm quite rough with it Make sure you get your neck. Please get your neck. Please, I beg you. Why did my mum never teach me that? I have so many questions for my mum. I'm like, honey, why didn't you teach me that? Why did we never have a discussion with that? But I think that's what you get when you have like a Balkan household or when you have like a super strict household. You never talk about certain things with your mum because it's like taboo. Like I never spoke about sex with my mum. I never spoke about, you know, vagina problems with my mum. I never spoke about anything like that, like how to shave, whether I should be doing laser or waxing instead of shaving. I never spoke about anything like that with my mum. And growing up, I had to find out myself I don't know if anyone else is like that and I'm just like you would have literally saved me so much drama if you had just told me what to do woman but then I think to myself you know she tried her best because you have to remember your parents are a byproduct of their parents and you know and their environment and their culture so you can't be too too mad at how they've brought up and what they do because fundamentally they did try their best well I'd like to think they tried their best and you can't be too mad I used to get so mad back in the day but the older I get honey we're hitting 30 soon your girl is entering her big 3-0 phase and I'm actually buzzing for it but the older I get the more I realize like you can't just judge people for doing things their way because it's not done your way like it doesn't mean your way is the right way or their way is the wrong way it just means everybody is brought up different and they're a byproduct of what they've been taught and how they've been raised so I think it's more of an education piece and me and my mum have open discussions about it but fundamentally I I just wish she told me honey don't shave just wax or oh, just get laser or oh, honey if you have I don't know thrush problems this is what you do because all girls get thrush and it's not spoken about enough and it makes you feel so alone so anywho as you can see look at that base it's so much like so nice it adds like a little coating it doesn't actually look like you've smothered your face and foundation which i don't like now moving on to concealer you guys absolutely know how much i adore this hourglass concealer this is the best concealer i have ever tried in my life i go for two colors the first color i go is with beach and then this is kind of like to hide any imperfections any you know little scars any problems because i used to have acne it's all over my nose i dry it just down here because honey I'm not gonna get a nose job although she needs a bit of help sometimes just to be snatched and then for my under eye I go in with the color oat and let that's a little bit more brighter I know it looks a bit wild right now but just trust the process yeah then the next foundation brush I use is actually from hourglass and it's this angular brush foundation brush and then I go in and I smooth everything out. Do you see how bright that is? Sorry, look how bright that is. Not even blended out properly. Just you wait and see. you've done your concealer i go in with this by mario contour stick and this is in the color light medium i couldn't find a darker shade but if i had the dark shade i would definitely go for it and i kind of just go on the edges just like so i bring this contoured in i bring this down my nose just like so we're gonna go back to the nose in a minute 
and I just drag this up. Oh my God, you know what? I'm so funny, sorry, but I was like, you know, I really don't like the heavy makeup look. You know, I don't really like a lot of makeup and I've literally just smothered my face in about a million different products. That is classic Chrissy. You know, I think I'm, I'm convinced it's a Libra thing. We always go, oh no, 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 I don't want to be in front of the camera. And then the camera goes on, I'm like, I want to be in front of it. And then I'm like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want, um, I don't want this and I don't want that. And then I'm convinced it's like my biggest toxic trait that I say one thing and then I end up doing another thing and I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't know. But it's like, I'm confused, I'm conflicted and I'm constantly of what I want. One thing I realized, I'm never hesitant when it comes to a business decision. I'm never hesitant to make my mind up when it comes to business decisions. But when it comes to personal life, good luck. Don't come to me with your personal life problems because I can't even help myself at this point, honey. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers and the color caramel, it's stunning. Where I contoured, I'm now gonna go in with the bronzer just to set it all up. Get your neck, girl, get your neck. Blush. Blush is by far my favorite. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. And my favorite blush in the world is actually from Laura Mercier and it's called Passion Fruit. It... You know... <sighs> you know, guys, at this point, um... <laughs> At this point, this vlog is cancelled, okay? I am... Um... I'm still gonna use it because you know what? Don't let a bad moment in your day determine that it's a bad day. It's a bad moment. As you can see, it's such a pretty colour. I love this colour so much. I literally put it on the apples on my cheeks, on my lids as well. And then I drag it onto my nose. And all over my bed sheets, I'm fuming about it, fuming. Oh! Right, so I whacked on the blush, the bronzer and anything like that. And then what I do is I go back with my concealer and I actually just craft my cheekbones out a bit. Just because I like them to be a bit more snatched, snatched, snatched. snatched snatch like my life and then I literally just drag it down and then I make sure it's like not too much of a harsh line. I just blend it out a bit more, just like so. Blend it all out. I bring it on the tip of my nose as well and my forehead and I make sure everything is just really nicely blended out. And then the final thing I do for my face is I go back with that bronzer brush and I just run it all along my face. And then for actual mattifying my skin, my favorite thing to do is, I love, 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 love this Huda Beauty. This Huda Beauty cup is called Cupcake. Powder is absolutely incredible. And what I do is I just grab a little bit on my beauty blender. I run it down my nose. I run it on where I want a little snatch. If the men knew we were shape-shifting, they would think we were all witches. Have you seen that TikTok? It cracks me up because whenever Brett sees me do my makeup, he's like, what the, what the hell are you doing, girl? And I'm like, listen, it's all gonna come together. It's all gonna be okay. You just need to close your eyes. And when you see me, you see me. So what I do is I just leave that now to essentially bake. I love it down my nose and I love it here on the sides because then it just makes my face look less like a big round balloon. And it's just such a beautiful effect. And whilst I let that basically do its job, I've absolutely fallen in love with this Refi brow gel and it comes with like a ball tip like that. My friend Jess sent me a PR package. And you know what? I was like, mm, unsure about this product at first. I was like, I've never used anything like this. And then I used it and oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So I just brush all my brows up, upwards, just like so. And it stays all day. My brows don't move and it adds a little bit of color. If you want a bit more color, you just brush it inwards. 
and then you go in with your pencil or your powder to fill in any of those spots back just like that i use the color soft brown i don't like my eyebrows too too dark because it actually makes me look a little bit angry and aggressive and then my brow pencil is from benefit precise my brows in the color 3.5 again this is very soft brown and i just fill in any you know gaps and if you can see this brow is actually i managed to mess it up like i always do i'm going to fill in a bit more because this one is like my pretty brow as you can see and this one is like the ugly stepsister so i've <laughs> got to make them look semi similar without making them look too too similar because your eyebrows are meant to be sisters honey We're gonna keep this pencil because then we're gonna pop in some faux freckles all over the nose just to make it look a little bit more sun-kissed for my eyeshadow especially because this is every day i don't go crazy with eyeshadow and to be honest with you i don't have those stunning lids you know those lids that these girl girlies are having nowadays i can't comprehend where you're getting these eyelids where it's like you have all this space i don't have that so we're gonna go in with a subtle brown you can even use your bronzer to be honest I'm just gonna run that through the entire lid, just like so. I literally do it just to add a pop of color. I don't do it for any like contour reasons or effects. I just wanna add a bit of something to my lid so it doesn't look one dimensional. So we're gonna pop that in the creases. I have bought this recently from Natasha Denoa. This is a palette that I picked up. Oh, hi. I picked up this in Sephora when I was in the States. I absolutely love it. I love this highlighter and this is a cream blush. And then she has all these stunning brown shades. And I only really, really use brown eyeshadow. So it's really pretty. And the color comes out quite nice, as you can see. Before we do our lashes, I'm gonna just tight line my eyes. I'm just using a standard like brown color from Hourglass, I believe this is, and I just tight line. This is from Hourglass. I'm gonna just tight line the top of my eyes. As you can see, I've done this one, I haven't done this one. Just make sure eyelashes look way more fuller when you do this. So I highly recommend. So see, they look way more full up already without me even putting mascara on. A mascara of choice, I can never let this mascara go. It is from Roller Lash, from Benefit. It's called the Roller Lash one. Absolutely love it. And then another mascara that I absolutely love is Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This is in incredible actually we're gonna use this because i want to shave it i get the brown color as well it is smudge proof it lifts it tightens it does everything i want everything in my life to be perfect 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 look at that stunning the next thing we're going to do is lips and for lips i'm going to go in with this mario pencil in the color hue it's such a natural color I always get asked if I've had my lips done and the answer is yes. I have had lip filler. I'm not going to shy away from it. I think there's nothing wrong getting what you want done as long as you're honest about it. By the way, we're going to go in with a little bit of a darker colour as well. And this one is Sandy Beige by Huda Beauty. And I just literally just outline a bit. Then we're going to go in with the Benefit Stain. Let's whack that all over my lip. I just want to whack it here. It gives the effect of like a little ombre. And then the final thing I'm gonna do with my lip, add a little bit of lip balm. You can add gloss, but seeing as it's every day. Final steps are, I'm gonna drench my face in spray. As that's setting, I'm actually gonna go back with my beauty blender and I literally just tap gently any creases and I just make it look a little bit more like skin. And I see what's missing. So for me, I need a bit more blush. So I'm actually gonna go in with this House Hughes Lab. House Lab, I think this is Lady Gaga's company. Oh my God, stunning. What beautiful packaging as well. I've got to appreciate it. As a brand owner and as someone who adores product, the packaging is stunning. The deep embossed logo on it, just everything about it, even the color. It doesn't smell like anything, which is actually good because sometimes when products smell like things, it kind of puts you off. And then I'm just gonna whack it in the ball of my cheeks. Look at that. So pretty, unbelievable. And then on the bridge of my nose as well, just like that. 
I love this blush, guys. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Small things get me happy in life at this point. Small things. So that is my makeup look. Now we can get ready. I have to record a workout video here in my house for Evolve You for our summer challenge launching. This is this summer challenge is exciting because you stack the challenge on top of your program. So basically it's like a 10 to 15 minute finisher, whether that's you know a quick lower body finisher, quick upper body finisher, you stack it onto your program just for that extra boost, just for that extra challenge. Because why not? We called it, you know, it's a summer challenge but you can do it whenever the challenges are available all year round so i'm just going to record some content for that and then we're going to go to the gym to hit some upper body guys can we just take a moment for these new honor active colors launching this is part of our spotlight capsule this is the color grape look at it this is the everyday bra alongside with the effortless shorts stunning 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 these are launching so soon at honor active such a stunning color. You know when you just wear something and you're like, this is it, this is it. So I'm wearing a size small. Let me just sort this band out real quick. Basically, I just wanna show you because I know I've showed you the nice parts of the house, but there's so much carnage. Look at this. So this all needs to go to recycling. This is the guest bedroom and all of this stuff here, all of this stuff is honor active, literally. Honor active, everything there, honor active, clean washed. But this is all my normal normal people clothes <laughs> that I need to continue to sort out. And then we have my wardrobe here. Um, but all of this stuff, basically, I just wanna show you, all of this Honor Active needs to be unpacked because in here, we're gonna make it into a little active wear um, walk-in wardrobe. So I'm gonna have like a big hanging rail on each side of the wall. And then we're gonna have shelf upon shelf upon shelf. So that's why all of this is here. And then this is the bed that's gonna go into the guest bedroom. That is my bikini up there, don't ask questions. Over here, I'm just giving you a quick house tour now that we're here. Over here, basically these paintings are going up, one there and one there. Then we're gonna get a mirror in the center, beautiful light right there. Ordered the dining table, it's this really beautiful marble dining table from 1980. I bought it vintage and the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted to take that table anywhere I go. Similar with the coffee table over here. Half of it is missing. So it's not just meant to be this, there's meant to be another half to it. So it matches that. We're gonna pop that right there. And then I bought this beautiful um, four dining, dining chairs. I might need six, I don't know yet, but I keep you updated. And then this is like my little, my little like element of color because everything in my house is very neutral, very simple. And then here is my element of color. So we have, um, Brett's little dissertation thing, all the books that I love that have impacted me, my women's health cover, big flex. Don't even, don't even tell me I've got to be humble about this. Let me just, amazing. My records, me and Brett. So it's like a little bit of like memory lane over here. And then on this area, I'm gonna get a big pot and put an olive tree. So if you think I'm missing anything, let me know, but that's it so far. I don't wanna stuff the house with too much things. And then this is the kitchen. This is where we'll go back to cooking with Chrissy. Kept it super simple and super easy to navigate. And then this is the drinks area. I'm putting a shelf up there so I can put all of my mugs. These are so cute. Look, it's got Brett on it, buttons. We've got this, this two shall pass, which I always say to you guys, and then you're home. New coffee machine, which you saw me use, my Nespresso machine when I'm in a rush. And then down here, we have like all the like teas and stuff, which is quite nice. And then the little pantry, <gasps> this shouldn't be here. This should be here. So my little pantry that we're working on. So yeah, cute, cute, cute. I don't know what any of this stuff is, gotta sort it out. But as you can see, I've shown you the nice parts. But what I wanted to show you was over here, but I've shown you this anyway. I've shown you all the pop colors. I still am kind of nervous to wear this, but I know in the summer when it starts getting really hot in here in the UK, that will be incredible. So this is the fit of the day. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna pair it with a little t-shirt, put my shoes on and off to the gym we go.
we are going to make some burgers together because it is so sunny here in the UK. Every single time it's sunny, I always fancy a barbecue. And Brett hasn't got us a barbecue yet. <clears throat> He'll get one soon. But I decided that I want to make some burgers. I was already pre-made. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these beef patties, lettuce, some salad with that, onion, brioche. Technically cannot have this brioche bun. And I'm just like... It's my favorite, like brioche bun is my favorite, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. The reason why I can't have it is because it flares me, so I know definitely my stomach will flare. Where is our barbecue? Where's our barbecue? Yeah, barbecue season. I got him this top when I was in LA, and he loves it. It actually suits you, you know? You look really good in it. We just say I love it. I love it. And also, guys, you're not going to believe it, but he's growing his hair. His hair. We had a whole dilemma of whether he should grow his hair or not, and he is doing it. I did convince him, and I think it's going to look so good. Let's go for an awkward face, but we're getting through it. Then I think I have burger sauce somewhere, so we're going to, well, I'm probably going to cook them, and he's going to clean. One has to cook, one has to clean. It's a partnership. <laughs> I burnt the buns. I mean, do you know what? First, the blush. Now this, I'm just gonna have an internal scream. What a waste of food. That's depressing. There's no fries, guys. Like, I forgot the fries. Oh, it's a disaster of a meal, but it's a meal and we should be thankful. I have just washed my face and smothered it in every single face serum you can possibly imagine. Oh, really? <sighs> Thanks for telling me. Whoa, someone's in a bitchy mood. Whoa! No one's as crazy as you. What are you doing at 10 o'clock at night? Yeah. Cooking chicken because not only did you have all day to do it, you're just lazy and then basically... No, I didn't. I did not. So I made all this rice. He was like, oh, I'm just going to take rice to work. And I said, but babe, do you not want some protein, some like veggies with that? So I'll just buy it. And I was like, no, we've just spent so much money on food shopping. You are not buying food out. You are making it at home and taking it with you. Come on. Like, you... You know, he's gonna thank me when he feels better about the homemade meals he's gonna make. Ending the night off with a vitamin C. Got this really cute set from Victoria's Secret, which is like this pretty lavender color. It looks cream on the camera, but it's like a really pretty lavender camera. Camera. Really pretty lavender color. Tomorrow we're back in the office. The brand new Honor Active and Evolve UHQ. Oh my gosh, is it absolutely stunning, you guys? Oh my goodness, we're gonna do a massive office tour. Don't worry. Loads of furniture still missing, that's why I haven't shown you around, but I promise you'll be the first to get an insight, like you always are. Make sure you see my Instagram stories because that's where you see all of those uh, BTS stuff. So yeah, vitamin C. I'm gonna start taking a vitamin C in the morning and in the evening. Actually, my dermatologist recommended it as well for my skin, as well as the collagen powder that I have from Women's Best. So a top tip. And then I also made me and the love of my life, buttons, and no, I'm joking. I also made me and Brett and ashwagandha tea as well. He absolutely hates it when I make this tea, but it's good for him. Thanks me later. So I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me on my chilled kind of Sunday, nothing too crazy. And I hope that I put a smile on your face. I will see you next time. I love you always and forever. Bye guys.